All right, so we are here in the kitchen of Beefsteak, Wolf, Wolf Barn, Marcel's, whatever, TBD, Undisclosed, I don't know. We haven't figured out the name. But anyways, we are, as you can see, replacing the entire main sewer line right there, which, you know, nothing comes easy. I think this is like the second or third time we've tried to do this. But, um, you know, back and forth with the landlord, uh, he wasn't going to pay for it, he was going to pay for a quarter of it, then he was going to pay for half of it. Um, luckily I have the best business partner in the world, thanks Bob. He is now paying for all of it, as he should, because it's his fucking pipe. Anyways, have you ever seen so much fucking dirt in the kitchen? I have not. And uh, I'm kind of pulling my hair out. Luckily, I have quite a bit of it, so I think that's kind of okay. Anyways, I just wanted to give you a little fucking walkthrough of what's going on, because I haven't really been documenting this uh this whole operation very well uh and um i feel like it's important to do that because this is like a really important time I've been working on this project for a really long time and uh i've been facing a lot of hurdles right now i'm just down here i got my trusty measuring tape i never really leave home without this anymore because i've literally done every dimension in this place at least two maybe three sometimes even six to ten times um, but right now i'm measuring out the pass which is going to be right here I was trying to think, you know, it's got to be over eight, probably maybe in the like the 20 range. Right now we're looking at 20. 20 looks pretty good. Um, I think 20 is nice. Uh, 24 would be ideal, but then, you know, we got the overage on the inside, overage on the outside. Um, it's just like all these crazy details that as a chef, I never really thought I would be doing. You know, you take so much stuff for granted when you just roll into a space and you like, you know, make it your own. Whereas like, okay, how much overhang is on the front side? How much overhang is on the back side? How thick is the bar die? You know, I didn't even know what bar die was before this. Um, anyways, uh, these are some stains that I made myself um, for the ceiling. Uh, it's got a nice sort of like gray vibe uh, to it. We did uh, stuff out of the kitchen. We did apple cider vinegar and steel wool and uh, cedar, and then you get, you know, pieces that look like this. Unfortunately, the general contractor is, you know, they don't really care, the uh, construction workers don't really care about anything, and they just, as you can see, just drip stuff all over the place. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been kind of a problem that they just destroy everything that comes in their path. They literally leave shit everywhere. I don't know if you can see this, but I think that is shit. It's honestly probably just mud that like came out of well, the sewer pipe, which was probably not actually mud. It smells like mud though, I just smelled it just to make sure. Um, you can't really see, you can kind of see the grains start to really pop, um, and that's as a direct result of the uh, vinegar treatment, um, which I learned from my homeboy Griffin. Big shout out to Griffs. Um, and this is the ceiling. Right now I'm trying to decide if I want to do that even, just because the actual stain that I have right now, um, which you can probably see from a previous video, came out fucking rad. And uh, it's like super dark um, and it looks like a barn. Hence the new potential name, Wolf Barn. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for now. Um, just a lot of a lot of dirt, a lot of, a lot of laying pipe, and um, you know, some floor drains, some floor sinks. You know, that is a floor drain. And then that is a floor sink. You know, you just learn all these little things as you go along. But um, yeah, there's beefsteak in the dark. And then there's ooh, ooh, wolf. Rah.